Thanks very much, Karen Larson. And now at the World Boxing Championships, we're set for the second head-to-head -head matchup of Cuba and Russia. Pedro Carrion entering the ring. He's wearing the blue. He'll face Alexander Povetkin in the red. These are the super heavyweights. We just saw Olanye Solis' decision Alexiev to win gold in the heavyweight class. Can Pedro Carrion do the same at the expense of his Russian opponent? Carry on the bronze medalist in Belfast. He took over as the Cuban super heavyweight from Alexis Rubicalba. All 275 pounds of him. Rubicalba, well, he had size and uh, he's a physical specimen. What a specimen. He yeah. was dropped though from the Cuban team after bombing out of the Sydney Olympics. Rubicalba coach looked like he had it all. He just didn't have a right foot. Looked like he had two left feet. Yeah, and he just never was able to master the coordination for such a big body. But what an imposing figure. And these two guys, boy, they're going at it right from the outset. Hard shots being landed. And the punching power of the super heavyweights is not to be underestimated. This is not usually a finesse class, rather a power class. But both these guys have good boxing moves. Again, when you just when you expect to see some kind of dinosaur action or uncoordination, you're seeing two guys here with good skills throwing good punches. Nice shots from Povetkin, and the counter shots landing from Carry On. Both guys trading hard bombs here in the center of the ring. And remember, this is just round number one. Povetkin decisioned an Olympic bronze medalist, Sadov of Uzbekistan, to advance to the final. Carry On got a decision over Sebastian Kober of Germany to advance. Povetkin's the 2002 European champion. And that says a lot about his boxing ability. The European Championships generally thought of as the second best tournament on the planet next to the World Championships. Certainly the toughest. Or maybe the toughest one would have to be winning the Cuban National Championship. That would probably be the toughest. And that's the thing about the Cubans. They're never guaranteed a spot on the team. They usually have to fight their way out of their own country. You know, the Cubans could probably field two teams at every major game and probably finish top three or top five with both teams. Well, it's generally accepted in Cuba that if you don't play baseball, you box, and if you don't box, you play baseball. Well, it's even in round number one between Carrion and Povetkin. At least these guys are working on the inside and not trying to drape, drape themselves over each other. They get on the inside, they're working. Povetkin needs to be on the inside because he's got to make up for that height and reach advantage that carry on holds. Actually making some good moves to get under the reach of carry on and take away that big right hand and land his own good looping shots over the top. There it was. So Pedro Carrion of Cuba. Alexander Povetkin of Russia set now for round number two of the super heavyweight final. Lennox Lewis won this division for Canada in 88 in Seoul. Vladimir Klitschko for Ukraine in 96. Of course, we've heard a lot from those boxers in the ensuing years. Oh boy, are these guys landing bombs. Right hands, left hooks from carry on. And Povetkin staying right there with him, punch for punch. This is action-packed in a way that we don't often uh, see the super heavyweights perform. Trading blows in the center of the ring, and they're hard shots. Oh, these guys are looking to end it with one shot, and they're throwing combinations too, like it's not just one, it's right hand, left hook's coming around. Usually the shorter guy holds the advantage in this. The edge should go to Povetkin if they're going to exchange toe-to-toe -to -toe because his center of gravity is lower and the target is smaller. Carry on sticking up higher, the head higher in the air makes for a good, nice target against the looping right hand. Well, the Cubans have been searching for their super heavyweight since the tragic passing of Roberto Bellato, who won in 92 in Barcelona. As I mentioned earlier, Ruba Calvo was thought to be the next one. But they dropped him from the team. It looks like they found their man in carry on. See, th 
this is now again just when we said this wasn't getting sloppy on the inside these guys these guys start to get sloppy and i'm blaming the referee again here i mean do your job when you're in there oh good oh, hard left hook he tried to land yeah. he was looking to end it right there see here's what the problem is they get on the inside each guy is afraid to, th to throw punches because the, he doesn't want to drop his guard and the referee is not giving them the order to break and make them step back so they're having to break on their own as if you were doing sparring in the gym. Vekin trying to get on the inside and carry on trying to come back with the uppercut still even now it was tied after round one 14-14 now late in round number two. Good hard body shots on the inside they didn't come up for carry on he landed a good uppercut coming in. Well, two tough rounds of boxing and little to choose between Carrion and Povetkin. Boy, they were exchanging hard shots. That was early right hands coming around with left hooks. Hard to hit a shorter guy with a left hook. It either goes around him or it goes above him. I think I, if I was in Carrion's corner, I'd be telling him, guy, get that uppercut working a little bit more. The smaller guy is bending down to throw his looping shots over the top. Get that uppercut working. <laughs> Super heavyweights, Karyon of Cuba in the blue, Povetkin of Russia wearing the red, out now for round number three. Holding nothing back in this fight. Now see, this is where the referee should come in and break them because he's making the fighters break themselves. And if ever a guy gets knocked out or gets nailed with a shot as two fighters are coming out of a break, that's going to make for controversy again, and it's controversy that could be avoided. Get in there, break them up, let them start over again, but don't just let them drape on each other. Now look, it takes five seconds for him to give the caution. Give the caution, get out there, let's...